guys to the Almost Vegan Mommy. Tonight we are doing a quick and easy uh, vegan Asian stir fry with a spicy peanut sauce drizzled on top. Made this recipe up myself. We have our brown rice cooking. I'm cooking extra brown rice because we're also going to do a vegan fried rice this week for dinner. And you'll find in that recipe that's best for your rice. You're going to use for the fried rice to be refrigerated beforehand. So I'm making a double rice portion. I'm going to save half of it for dinner later this week. Here's our cast of players. I have um, a small package of organic extra firm tofu. What I love about Kroger is that this comes in two small packs for like $2. So I can just split up how much I use. Have some mushrooms, some broccoli, some carrots. And for the Asian peanut sauce, it's really easy. Got some natural peanut butter, liquid aminos, honey, red cayenne pepper, garlic, ginger, and a little rice vinegar. Now, I'm gonna post the recipe for the peanut sauce in the description below, but I strongly encourage you, after you do the base recipe, to modify it to taste, keep tasting it, because I keep adding in liquid aminos or red cayenne pepper or rice vinegar until it really gets the rice right taste, because everyone's different on how they like their peanut sauces. So yeah, we're gonna get started. We're gonna bake the tofu until it's crispy. Be careful not to over bake it but I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and we're gonna drain this tofu and pat it dry and start to cube it up. All right, so you'll see here, I'm just trying to get the moisture off of the tofu. So I have it wrapped in paper towel. I'm not gonna stress out too much about trying to get it extremely dry, but just that extra water that's in it when I press down, I'm trying to get all of that out. And I'm gonna cube it up a little. So there we go, there's our cubed tofu. I finished it with a little sea salt and a little bit of olive oil, drizzle it on top uh, just to moisten it. We're gonna put it in the oven. You are going to individually turn these over once like that, once you see that they're starting to brown on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it could take at 400 degrees, depending on how your oven cooks, anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. Uh, I personally like more crisp on my tofu. I don't like it to be gooey. And ye be warned, do not do this recipe with silken tofu. I accidentally bought that one night, and I was like, oh, we'll just wing it, do it anyways. Yo, you gotta get extra firm. It's the only thing that works. So, wow. <laughs> we are finding our voice over there. <laughs> so at the Almost Vegan Mommy, you're gonna see, wow, buddy, that I do a lot of shortcuts, like minced garlic. I already got these pre peeled carrots. And I know a lot of you food purists out there are like, well, but that's not right. Y'all, I got two kids under the age of three and I'm already making homemade dinners from scratch that are vegan, which are 10 times harder to make because they need to taste good. You can kind of wing it with ground beef and cheese because it tastes good in and of itself. And so I don't even care. I'm gonna take shortcuts where I can because my time is valuable and I don't want to spend any more time in this kitchen than I absolutely have to. All right, we're gonna saute these beautiful vegetables in a pan. I'm gonna do a little bit of my homemade vegetable broth. Look at how rich that looks. Super thick, not watered down like boxed. Why are you throwing your stuff? <laughs> so I'm gonna saute these in some vegetable broth instead of water or just oil, just to get some added vitamins and nutrients in there. Finish that off with some sea salt. I'm gonna cover it up and let it do, let it do its thing. Hey. So I have all the wet ingredients for the peanut sauce stirred together. Now I'm just gonna add the peanut butter. And doing the wet ingredients first, I found helps, you know, loosen the peanut butter than just adding the peanut butter to the bottom. It's kind of hard to stir it. And that's really it. That's the sauce right there. You don't have to cook it or anything. That's what I love about this recipe. All right, so my tofu's done cooking. I took my veggies um, off the burner that I had it on. I like my veggies pretty crisp, not overcooked. You goofball. Hey, Noble. Noble. I've got my peanut sauce all done. This is kind of the texture. So it's pretty thick, but I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and sniff the end off so I can squirt it on top. I did forget to add earlier in the video, I do mix some organic unsweetened soy milk in there to help loosen up the peanut butter because the peanut butter can be super thick and you definitely don't want it too thick. But that cayenne pepper really gives it a really good spice. Liquid aminos give it, you know, 
good soy uh, taste. So yeah, we're gonna start building our plates and we're done. All right, y'all, and there you have it. Got that peanut sauce on top. I drizzled some cashews as well. It's looking great.